Android TV 14 is now rolling out onto more and more devices, but unfortunately on some of them, it's actually broken how ADB works. Now ADB, which is the Android debug bridge, is used for certain applications. I use it for the TDUK app killer, for the cache cleaner, for the DNS switcher, other applications like mouse toggle, like ADB TV. All of these applications use ADB, but since the update to Android TV 14 on certain devices, unfortunately they are now broken so if i try to start my application for example you click on connect and it comes up with an error because adb is now no longer listening on port double five double five let's go back for example this application here again when you try to make a connection it tries to connect to port double five double five but because that port is now changed to something random again this application is also broken now i did actually cover this before in another video where i did propose a fix where you can use a premium application called tv quick actions which has lots of great features and it also allows you to reset your adb port back to double five double five well as of today one of my followers steven actually sent me an email telling me that there's a free application available now which will allow you to reset your port back to double five double five and you can once again use all of your favorite applications again so in this video today let's test out this application and let's see if we can fix this adb problem on all of our affected devices open up downloader and we can make a quick connection to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com. Or you can type in the short code 53402. And this will take you directly to my website. Now, when you get to my site, if you head over to the hamburger menu, which is one of the three lines, click on that. Click on tutorials. And the latest tutorial in the list will be how you can fix ADB on all of your Android TV devices. So let's click on that. Scroll down. You'll see the step-by-step -step instructions on how to enable developer options. Keep scrolling down and you should have a single link to download the latest version of this application, which is this one here. So let's click on that. Scroll down and you're looking for the green download button. Let's click on that now. Click on install. That's now installed. I can now click on done. Let's now press the home key. Okay, the application has now been installed, but you can see it doesn't appear in my list because it's not an official TV based application. But if I long press the home button, that should take me directly into my settings. I can now click on settings. Let's go down into applications. Let's go down to show all apps. And we can see the application here is called ADB auto enable. So before we open that, let's just double check to make sure that we've turned on our developer options. And we've also enabled both USB debugging and also wireless debugging. So let's back out of this. Now, if you don't have developer options, you can press back again. Go to where it says system. Go over to where it says about. You can then scroll down where you see the build number. Just press the select button here seven times. We can see on mine it says I'm already a developer. Once you see that message, you can now press the back button. You can scroll down and you now get access to the developer options. So let's open them up. We can now scroll down and we're looking for USB debugging. Make sure that's turned on and also turn on wireless debugging. Let's click on enabled. We can click on always allow let's back out of this let's try to use a new application to see if it can automate that for us and reset the port back to double five double five let's go back again let's go back into applications let's now start oh sorry adb auto enable for the first time let's click on open and it's now telling you to go to this page on a phone on a tablet on a pc on any other device so it can actually complete the setup for you so I'll just use my phone. Just make sure that your phone's on the same network as your Chromecast or as your streaming device. Let me do that now. So just type in that address, 192.168.0.194 on port 9093, 9093. Let's click on go. I can now see the options here and we can now go through the setup process. If I scroll down, you can see it says on your Android device, go to developer options, go to wireless debugging and select the option pair with pairing code. So let's do that together. Let's back out of this back again. So where we were in the developer options, let's go back to that now. Go down, go to wireless debugging and click on pair with pairing code. So let's do that now. Now I can now see a code on the screen. So I can now type in the code into my phone. So the code is just 
8041. And we can see that the pairing port is a number there. So that's basically 38851. So 38851. I can now click on pair device. It says pairing successful. It says device paired. Now, if I scroll back up, it says the permissions are still not granted. And it says that the ADB port 5555 is not available yet. So go back down again. And I can now select the option, switch to port 5555 now. So let's do that. One click, it says port switch is now started. And now you can see when I scroll back to the top, everything is now green, it's paired, it's granted. And port 5555 is now once available again. So I think the last thing you need to do now is just run the test. So let's click on run test. Is now starting a boot test. I think it just confirms every time your device restarts, it will then automatically reset the port back to double five double five, which I will test in just a second. And it then makes a connection and then resets back to port double five double five. You see, it says successfully configured ADB on port double five double five. So that's pretty much it, guys. So I think if I now scroll back to the top, everything looks green. I don't need to use my phone anymore. That's all set now. I can now press the home key. I can now open up one of my applications. And let's just try this one here. Click on connect. And you can see that connects first time, guys. So that is basically the easiest way you can fix your ADB port, get it back to double five, double five, and never have to worry about the ADB port being randomized anymore. So that's working absolutely fine. And just so you know, guys, I've actually released a new update to this application because the Play Store stopped listing my app killer and the cache cleaner because they weren't fully compatible with android tv 14 so i fixed the app killer if you search the play store now this application should be available once again i'm also going to submit an update for the cache cleaner which will hopefully go live in the next few days so if you couldn't see these applications on your android tv 14 device your on 4k pros your chromecast you should be able to find it in the play store now and we can see now i can count the background applications running there's five things running in the background one click and we can see four of them have now been instantly stopped. So really just the best way to get the best performance from your Android TV or Google TV device is to force stop these applications running in the background. I can click on exit. And just as a side point, if I open up the background apps and process list, we can see now there's nothing else running in the background. So those applications were properly force stopped. Let's also try this application here just to confirm that the ADB port has been fixed. Click on OK. And we see this time when I click on connect, you get the ADB prompt. So I can click on allow. And we can see this has also now fixed this application here. So all of that's working absolutely fine. And you can once again use all of your favorite ADB applications once again. So that's pretty much this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. Do leave me a comment below. Let me know if you are having an issue with ADB on these devices, these Chromecast devices, and if this free method now has fixed it for you. So really appreciate your support. Do like and share this video. And I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.